Chapter 11. Now what? Maniac uncrumpled the page, flattened it out as best he could. How could he return the book to Amanda in this condition? He couldn't, but he had to. It was hers. Judging from that morning, she was pretty finicky about her books. What would make her matter? To not get the book back at all? Or to get it back with a page ripped out? Maniac cringed at both prospects. He wandered around the East End, jogging slowly, in no hurry now to find 728 Sycamore Street. He was passing a vacant lot when he heard an all too familiar voice. Hey, fish belly. He stopped, turned. This time, Mars Bar wasn't alone. A handful of other kids trailed him down the sidewalk. Maniac waited. Coming up to him, Mars Bar said, where are you running, boy? Nowhere. You're running from us. You afraid? No, I just like to run. You want to run? Mars Bar grinned. Go ahead. We'll give you a head start. Maniac grinned. No, thanks. Mars Bar held out his hand. Give me my book. Maniac shook his head. Mars Bar glared. Give me it. Maniac shook his head. Mars Bar reached for it. Maniac pulled it away. They moved in on him now. They backed him up. Some high schoolers were playing basketball up the street, but they weren't noticing. And there wasn't a broom swinging lady in sight. Maniac felt a hard flatness against his back. Suddenly his world was very small and very simple. A brick wall behind him, a row of scowling faces in front of him. He clutched the book with both hands. The faces were closing in. A voice called, that you, Jeffrey? The faces parted. At the curb was a girl on a bike, Amanda. She hoisted the bike to the sidewalk and walked it over. She looked at the book, at the torn page. Who ripped my book? Mars Bar pointed at Maniac. He did. Amanda knew better. You ripped my book. Mars Bar's eyes were, went big as headlight. I did not. You did. You lie. I didn't. You did. She let the bike fall to Maniac. She grabbed the book and started kicking Mars Bar and his beloved sneakers. I got a little brother and a little sister that crayon all over my books, and I got a dog that eats them and poops on them, and that's just inside my own family, and I'm not going to have nobody else messing with my books. You understand? By then, Mars Bar was hauling up on the street past the basketball players who were rolling on the asphalt with laughter. Amanda took the torn page from Maniac. To her, it was the broken wing of a bird, a pet out in the rain. She turned misty eyes to Maniac. It's one of my favorite pages. The way he said it, she believed. Want to come to my house, she said. Sure, he said. 